Alphabet is one of the companies that's being most purchased by super investors. And that's something that I do want to cover in this video. So guys, smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. You're watching more money. Let's get it. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel where the goal here is to help at least a thousand people achieve financial independence much sooner. And let's dive right into this one because this one's a big one. So you can see here that the information that I get from Datarama is in Q1 of 2022. You can see that the top five names that were being purchased by super investors were Facebook, so meta platforms, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, and Visa. And Alphabet is the one that I wanna to cover today. I'll cover the other names in separate videos. But you can see here that Alphabet is actually potentially running into a tough situation because there is a bipartisan act right now which could lead to Google sort of dividing up its advertising business. And so it's being led by two Republicans, Senator Mike Lee and Ted Cruz, and two Democrats, Senator Amy Klobuchar, and Senator Richard Blumenthal. And so what exactly does that mean? Well, you can see here, the measure would prohibit corporations that handle more than $20 billion in digital ad transactions yearly from engaging in more than one aspect of the digital advertising business. So in other words, Google is involved in several stages of the digital ad ecosystem. It hosts an auction exchange, which offers the ability to sell and buy advertising. And Google is involved in several stages of the digital ad ecosystem. You can see here that it actually operates on both sides. It hosts an auction exchange where ads are purchased and it also offers tools to assist brands and agencies in selling and buying advertising. And so critics for years have said that Google has an unfair advantage in both running the exchange as well as serving as both buyer and seller of advertising and it could use its power to manipulate the ad market to its advantage, which of course Google denies, but they face difficulty in proving. And so the question is, will this legislation actually go through? And you can see here, the support for the antitrust reform to rein in tech dominance extends across ideological lines, which means that it'll probably go through because that means it'll probably become bipartisan. And that's what we're seeing here. And so, Google's growth strategy has to now constantly factor in that they're gonna have to move into a first price auction model for some of their AdSense category. And the other thing that Google is doing is that it's piloting a program for alternative payment methods that would allow some apps to bypass the existing payment systems, which of course means that it undercuts Google's own ecosystem. But what impact does this have exactly on Alphabet's business? It's hard to tell right now. I think more information is required before this comes out. So I think what's happening is a lot of value investors or super investors are looking at this news and saying, it's a nothing burger, at least right now. And they're buying into Alphabet because they think it's a cheap business that's a good inflation hedge and it's great to own it at approximately 50% of its intrinsic value. But how do I get to that intrinsic value? Well, you can see here that Alphabet owns a leading position with a wide moat in three major businesses. So Google search, it's still growing at good rates. I'm growing this thing out at 12.5% out through 2026. YouTube ads, you can see that I'm growing in between 20 and 30% going out to 2026. And Google Cloud, which is their growing and emerging business, you can see that I'm growing that out at 25% into 2026. So Google has a ton of businesses that are still growing at good rates in industry leading wide moat positions. And so what does that mean for the valuation? Well, you can see here with a terminal multiple of just 22.5 times, whereas their average multiple has been close to 30 times earnings, I'm getting to a valuation of just under $4,000 per share. And the current market share is approximately 2,200 bucks a share, meaning that this company is trading at approximately 50% of its intrinsic value. I guess they're closer to 60, but you see what I mean. And where does Google stack up on the companies that we're following or on the tracker that the Patreons get access to? Well, you can see that Google is in that beige area where the price is uh, getting closer to less than 50% of its intrinsic value. So in other words, Alphabet or Google, however, whatever you want to call it, is closing in on becoming one of the cheaper opportunities in the universe of securities that we're following. And if you want access to the tracker that the Patreons get access to, you can access that at the lower tier of the Patreon membership level. And like I always say, if you decide to try it out and it's not for you, don't just cancel it. 
message me in the Patreon to let me know that you tried it and it wasn't for you. And I'll fully refund your first month subscription because that's how much I believe in the effort and hard work that's going into these models and how much value I believe that they produce. And with that said, I do believe that Jerome Powell is right that these interest rate increases could lead us into a recession. And I go into that in this video right here.